Vice President Sarah Duterte, nice to see you back from Navao. Uh, House Speaker Martin Romualdez, members of the cabinet, those uh, who will be joining us uh, to, uh, to Europe, and those who will be holding down the fort here. Pasay City Loan District Representative and, uh, Antonino Calixto, and of course, Pasay City Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubiano. I think we should already put offices for you here. Ni ba parin di ka balik balik. AFP uh, Chief of Staff General uh, Romy Browner and the Major Service Commanders, uh, PNP Chief General uh, Benny Benji Acorda. Philippine Coast Guard Commandant Ronnie Gaban. Uh, you're supposed to be secret, so I won't greet you anymore. The uh, National Security Advisor is. Uh, <laughs> and of course, uh, the First Lady, uh, First Lady Lisa Arnett, huh? who is, uh, who against her better judgment is still accompanying me on this, uh, <laughs> on this trip. So fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, Good afternoon. Uh, I go now to Central Europe to uh, visit with two important partners, the Federal Republic of Germany and the Czech Republic. My visit is upon the gracious invitation of Federal Chancellor Olaf Scholz of Germany and President Peter, Peter Pavel of the Czech Republic. Building upon the visit of Czech Prime Minister Peter Fiala, in April 2023, and Germ German Federal Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock in January this year, my visit marks a pivotal moment in our efforts to continuously deepen bilateral relations and explore avenues for enhanced co cooperation with Germany and the Czech Republic and indeed the world. The Philippines has enjoyed long and robust relations with these two nations in the center of Europe. We are commemorating our 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations with the Czech Republic, which was established in 1973. And we celebrate as well 70, the 70th anniversary of our relations with Germany. Both of these states share an affinity for our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal's affection for Germany and its people is evident in his many travels around the world. That uh, Berlin, the capital, is where uh, Dr. Jose Rizal's most pivotal literary work, No Limitangre, no Limit was first published. Jose Rizal also found a kindred spirit in a man born in Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, by the name of Ferdinand Blumentritt. So great is, their, great is their band that the last letter of Dr. Rizal that he wrote before his execution was in fact to Blumentritt. Thus, I look on my trip to the center of Europe with anticipation and optimism for the opportunities to be explored and for our friendship with the German and Czech nations to be affirmed and strengthened. I will be meeting with Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Germany, in the Czech Republic. I will meet with the four constitutional heads of government, President Peter Pavel and Prime Minister Peter Fiala and the heads of the Czech Parliament. Senate President Milos Vistril, I hope Vistrishil, and Speaker of the Chamber of Deputies Marketa Pekarova, Adam Marketa Pekarova Adamova. During our time in Germany and the Czech Republic, we will underscore our unwavering commitment to strengthening partnerships with like-minded countries, promoting the rules-based international order, which serves as a cornerstone of global peace and of stability. We will also focus on expanding economic cooperation, opening up more avenues for mutually beneficial trade and investment opportunities. We wish to tap Germany's ex expertise in renewable energy to assist us in our energy trans transition efforts, as well as on manufacturing, healthcare, agriculture, aerospace, innovation, and startups, IT, BPM, minerals processing. In the same vein, 
We wish to harness the Czech Republic's expertise on agriculture, uh, manufacturing, especially in the automotive industry, transportation, renewable energy space, and uh, scientific instruments that they have uh, been leading the world in, in terms of technology. We are eager to invite German and Czech businesses to consider the Philippines as a production hub for their products. I look forward also to meeting with, of course, our Kababayans in Berlin and Prague to reaffirm my commitment to their welfare and to explore ways of harnessing their talents for the betterment of our nation. It is important that as we enhance our labor cooperation with these countries, our highest priority remains the protection of the rights and the welfare of our overseas Filipino workers. We also want to increase people-to-people -people exchanges, foster cultural understanding, strengthen the bonds of friendship with Germany and the Czech Republic. So during this visit, several agreements between our two countries will be signed, covering important areas of cooperation. For Germany, the joint declaration of intent on strengthening maritime cooperation and the cooperation program between the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESDA, and the Federal Institute for Vocational Educational and Training will be signed. In the Czech Republic, we will also be signing a joint communique on the establishment of a labor consultation the labor consultation, which aims to elevate cooperation between the Philippines and the Czech Republic for the safe and orderly migration of Filipino workers and to provide a higher level of protection for their rights and their welfare. There are also other agreements in the pipeline that we're closely working on, especially on the Czech side. As we remember, uh, as, we, as we remember, and uh, from the visits that uh, came from uh, the Prime Minister of, Czech, of the Czech Republic. So we continue to think of those th the items that we discuss. So as we embark on that journey, I'm confident that this visit will yield fruitful outcome. I look forward to having productive discussions, fruitful collaboration, and memorable experiences that will further cement the enduring ties between the Philippines and Germany and of course, the Czech Republic too. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay kayo lahat.